Hey YouTube, Sam here. I've got a couple of these little trailers. Hopefully you can hear me through the breeze here. And the lights on these inevitably always end up getting busted. If you own one of these, you'll know, you do know, or you will know sooner or later that at some point in time you will mac into something and, and bust up your lights. Um, it's just inevitable. Anyhow, so I have changed these over to these and I'm going to show you kind of how to do it and where to get it. It's a lot cheaper way of doing it rather than going and getting one of those trailer kits. What I did is I went to Harbor Freight and they have these and what they are is for towing cars. Uh, they got a magnet on them that sticks to metal but they don't stick all that great so I don't trust them just to slap them on the side of the trailers. Um, but they are cheap. You can usually get these like on sale for one of those $9.99 things. Um, this area, mo most of the time they're less than $20 I think. Somewhere around the $20 range. But I always wait until they go on sale. As soon as they go on sale, I pick one up. Because it comes in this kit. It is uh, the part that plugs into your truck. But it also comes with the part to wire your truck up with if you don't have. If you need a whole kit, this is everything you need to wire one of these up to your rig. So, it comes with everything. Um, I, like I said, I picked these up and I set them uh, to the side in the packaging and wait to use them. And I have no idea. Anyhow, what I do is I'll actually pull these apart. They just got four screws on them here. I'll keep these because I like uh, having magnets. Magnets are great for putting screws places. But anyway, then we'll go in here and we're going to pull the wiring out. Pretty, pretty easy to do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this ground. Hopefully you can see this. There's a, a white ground one. And it actually just plugs on there. I'm going to pull that off. And then what I'm going to do is this one's pretty tight. I need to get a wrench. We'll go in there. I'm going to unscrew this. And this plastic piece will just come right off. Alright. So it's a three quarter inch wrench. Pulled off this nut. All this stuff kind of comes with it. I'm going to get that out of there. And the way I'm going to do it is I get these metal cutting shears. And uh... We don't want this piece of plastic anymore. So, carefully without cutting them with the wires here. Okay. Okay. Much dry here. You can cut this however you want. I happen to have these. And it'll bust right off. Now, you have this little screw here. All this stuff goes on to. And then, I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And I actually already have it set up on my other trailer here, so I'm going to show you kind of how I run that. Alright, here's my trailer that everything's hooked up on. You can see it's dirty. But this is the bracket that the old lights uh, went on to. This is where if you bought the actual trailer kit, you'd hook your lights to this. But what I did to kind of keep me from bumping them so much, I put the light that I got here back behind here and as you can see there's a bolt here and there was another one right here where this one was. Um, so what I did is I pulled this bolt out right here then I took and drilled it out. I'm not sure what size bit this is. Let me check that out. Alright, it's a 3160 force drill bit. And I just hogged out the hole that that bolt originally went into right there. And then these plug right in. And as you can see, they got a little bit of give to them, but they're super solid on there. And really, I haven't had any problems with this trailer. My other trailer, I've used it a lot more. Um, so I'm not as careful with it. And actually, I will show you what I did. Because um, I actually did that trailer after I did this trailer. And on this one, all I did was run the wires up underneath and I actually screwed that right into the bracket that I showed you. Um, 
Now on this one, I am going to have to turn that bracket around, undo these bolts here. And actually on the other side, I already started this. Like I said, these wires were too short. That's why I'm changing it out. But see, this bracket's turned around. That's the bracket that you normally have your uh, normal light on. Uh, unbolted it and screwed it right in there. See, and it just sits like that. It works really well. Like I said, these wires are just all bunged up in here from being done too many times. And those are now too short to make work. So that's why I'm putting new ones on. Alright, I'm going to attempt to film this. I have checked. And the wires coming back from the front here, uh, they're fine. They're working fine. So I'm going to go ahead and reuse these. Um, what I found in this trailer, part of the reason why I couldn't get it to work is because the wires that were going from one light to the other were actually, so there was a short somewhere in them, I don't know where. And so I'm going to go ahead and use these wires. Take that kit, this kit with the lights, I got them all pulled apart like I wanted to. I'm going to go ahead and just take these wires. I'm going to cut off the main harness here. Because I got to, like I said, I had to put these in these holes here. Um, I, I've got to take these wires apart anyway so that um, I'm trying to film this without making you sick here. Uh, I got to take these apart to get these through the hole anyway. So. I'm going to go ahead and kind of get that set up, then I'll be back. Alright, so I got this cut. Now I got this uh, washer here. I'm going to go ahead and put that on here. I, I went ahead and took these off, because those are all going to go on the inside. And this washer, you got to kind of deal with these one by one here. This washer will just kind of give it a little bit of a piece to hold up against here. I ran out of some memory here, so hopefully I'm not sure how much we got. Go on, dog. You're going to have to deal with the dog, too, because i got to get this done. Anyhow, I put a washer on here. And now I'm going to feed the wires through. part will be where these two wires come together here. Just got to kind of feed those through one at a time. And that sit up in there like that. And then the nut and washer and don't forget this piece for the ground all goes on the inside. Now well, I up under here, in the midst of doing this, this fell clean off and now the wire is not attached anymore. And then I got to look in and hit this one here and these ones are just kind of barely kind of hanging on in there. And what it is is they strip these wires so long, because yeah, I mean I didn't do that, that's how long that was up inside there, that they just kind of had the the tips up in there and it's real loose so you may want to re get this kit I haven't had this problem with any of the other ones but if you get this kit take a look at these you may have to uh, put new connectors on them just because these ones are not on there very well and that will probably cause some pretty severe corrosion these are supposed to be up inside that box so um, normally all this wouldn't be hanging out anyway, but uh, you may want to have to either re-crimp them or even put different types of crimps on them or solder them. You can do however you want. Alright, well if your wires kind of prematurely come apart like mine did, uh, these are for a test, only a test. Do not use these in the case of real wiring. Um, on your vehicle you never want to use these. You always want to use butt connectors or uh, 
some more permanent splicing uh, or solder, something like that. I uh, never want to use these, but for a test, as you can see, my light's blinking up. Over there, I don't know if you can see that, you can kind of barely see it. Uh, that works fine. So now I'm gonna go around and check all these. Once I know it's all the correct way of wiring it all up and everything's working, then I'll put these together more permanent. So, hopefully, you can see this. It's fairly dark under here. Um, got the wires that come along up underneath here, all the way back, and I spliced into those. And I went ahead and used butt connectors. Um, you choose to use what you want to use uh, or solder. But then I'm coming back and I went ahead and I wrapped it up with some tape, electrical tape. To All the connections are wrapped up with electrical tape. Uh, and then I've kind of buttoned those up. And any of the excess that I had, I went ahead and taped those together. And then I've taken, and uh, this is what they used to put the wires in. And I don't like these. I won't use these to actually put wires underneath because they'll tear up your wires so if you got one of these trailers and it's new and you're just putting it together don't use those it'll just shred your wires and you'll have all kinds of wiring problems um, the first one i had to rewire this trailer it was because of these because uh, a couple of those dug in after not very long and i ended up having to splice in and and put new wires in but anyway don't use those um, but i did use that i kind of popped it out a little ways put my uh, tie wrap inside that pushed it back on and that kind of buttons those up and then uh, I'm gonna try not to like you sit and look at my other weather app <clears throat> get back up underneath here there's little holes here and as you can see hopefully go along and I'm gonna every other hole put a wire tie and that'll just kind of button things up make it a little bit, a little bit nicer Now, something else I'm going to do this while I'm doing this. Um, if you have one of these little trailers, um, you'll know that they actually have the license plate thing is actually hanging down, way down, and you'll find you just mangle your license plate all the time. So, the first thing I did with these is I actually flipped that upside down so the license plate is up, so you, up and you don't mangle it. But you'll find that when you do this um, uh, light change that I'm doing here, that it'll get in your way again so if you look at my other one i have here i got a couple of these little trailers i went ahead and took and stuck that license plate thing in a vise bent it over and i hooked it to the bolts that are on top of the fender here and um, these kind of things all these things i'm doing um, both the lights and the license plate uh, modification you need to look in your state i haven't had any problems at all and i've had police following me around with these trailers all the time um, and i haven't been pulled over for any of these things so but you need to check your own state um, also if you do this modification these lights here won't work unless you take the wires from those and um, go ahead and splice into the wires up towards the front here um, yet again I haven't had any problems I did not do that for either of these and I've been driving around for years with these this way and I haven't had any problems um, part of that is is, you, is like in some states you just have to have the yellow light on one side and the red light on the other which make sure you get your red light on the back uh, for the brake light but because that one does stick out there and is on I think that is not a whole lot different than having that little light there on so anyhow you check with your state on what is legal all right well this is sam jack of all master of none y'all have a good one